Hey, just a quick note, uh, this video is really humongous. Every single topic deserves a standalone video. So if you want me to do that, let me know in the comment section, just post dedicated video for each topic and I'll surely come up with one. Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about top five IT fields, or you can say top five IT paths. IT is really a big and gigantic industry, and it's equally confusing for a new beginner. In this video, I'll try to give you these top five paths so that you can pick each one of these fields or either one of these fields and can have a goal-oriented learning sector. Now, this will help you quite a lot, and for the next couple of years, you can just pick up a field and can keep on moving in that. So let's go ahead and get started with these top five IT fields. Let's go ahead and start with the top IT fields and I'm going to address the biggest one at the number one, which is programming. Now programming in itself is a really, really gigantic field. It requires years and years of learning curve. It's a never ending field. Every single day you're going to see new frameworks are coming out. One day this language is hot, another day this language is hot. And that's the beauty about this entire field. If you want to go for programming, I'm putting a lot under this umbrella. It requires back-end engineers, front-end engineers, somebody who's going to create the APIs, somebody who's going to handle the APIs, somebody who's going to write the database, somebody who's going to route routes. So back-end developers, front-end developers, mobile application developer, database engineers, there's a lot going on in this field. But the good thing is that it's really an amazing community to work on with this. So choosing programming is one of my favorite thing in the IT entire sector and shortly we can consider that programming is one of the backbone field of the entire IT industry no doubt in that a lot of people believe that in the IT industry programming is everything and that's it which is really far from truth that's not how IT industry works a lot in the IT industry happens around data too and that brings us to the next category or next field that I would like to introduce you here which is data it includes a lot of jobs which is surrounded with the data, data analytics, data scientists, and a whole lot of fancy names being given to the data. Now, although this data field is a little bit tough for the beginners to get started with, no company is gonna hand you over the data on the very first day as your job and will ask you that, hey, here is our entire database, do whatever you like. Usually this is a transition which happens after programming, but surely there are many such companies which processes a lot of data, which also does a whole lot of things with the data. Now, this is a fantastic new IT field which you can get started with. Obviously, you're gonna need skills around SQL well, a whole lot about database queries and also recently we are processing a lot of data using some libraries Python is really popular in that category R is another language that you want to check out with and there is a lot that happens with the data you will be handling a lot of business logic like which segment of the user should get an email which segment of user should get notification what should be the pricing what should be the notification message there is a whole lot of decision that goes on with the data now this is another IT sector field which requires a lot of lot of skill and you can definitely opt this one out so somebody has written the application somebody is already managing the data as well who's gonna put things into production and this brings us to the third category in the IT field which is not very much related to programming so this can be a great field if you don't like that much of programming this is DevOps and cloud yes I do understand I'm bringing a lot in this umbrella too but this is what the IT industry is moving towards Cloud, along with the DevOps, which includes your responsibility of moving things from development to production is really amazing and is a booming field. You should know that how you're gonna scale your application, your servers horizontally, vertically, how you're gonna introduce elasticity so that bills can be really, really low, and a whole lot of things. Now in the cloud industry, I honestly am biased towards Amazon, but this doesn't mean that the Google Cloud or the Microsoft Azure is any less or are less capable. No, they are not, equally good. So this is one of the, again, another field. It definitely requires a little bit knowledge of programming, which is gonna include some of the cron jobs and a whole lot of scripts that you're gonna be writing, but not that much involved as compared to programming. So if you are somebody who is not really a fan of programming and want to still connect it into the IT industry, you should definitely give it a try to the DevOps as well as cloud. UI and UX, that's obviously the next field we're gonna talk about. This is an amazing field. It doesn't require any programming knowledge, although if you have little bit basics about how application is designed, what's possible, what's not possible, it's always an additional thing. But let me tell you something about from my personal experience. Having a knowledge of programming is like having a superpower. 
But on top of that, if you add UI UX skill, it's like having an additional superpower. I've been enjoying the process of learning the UI and UX from the last three years, and it has served me amazingly well. It's a little bit things that actually change a lot of things in your application about choosing this color shade into this color shade. It matters really a lot. And it's not like you can learn things on just a weekend or something. UI and UX is a long process. It takes a little bit time to understand what font work, what font doesn't work, which color clicks, which color doesn't click. And it's a long process along with some of the user experience as well. Now, personally, I think this is an amazing field which anybody can get started with. It doesn't really is tool friendly. Like you should not really bother much about should I pick up Figma for that or Adobe XD. It's not about that. It's about having a general concept concept of design that you should be doing and which you should not be doing. All of the tools currently are fully capable of handling that, whether it's Photoshop, Illustrator, XD, Figma, Sketch, there's a plethora of them and surely we can have a lot of discussion on that. But I would say personally, giving you my experience here, that I've enjoyed these three years in an additional knowledge of programming. And now the things that I design are so much better than I was designing three years ago. And that's the one thing I love about learning the things. It's a process and one day things just clicks to you and you start working in that. And I would say this is a great and growing field with so many industries coming up with the SEO, your digital marketing agency. It's, it's really amazing. Everybody needs a designer. And on top of the designer, if you have UI UX skills, you're going to kill it. Okay, so yes, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put a lot of things under this umbrella too, which I'm going to call as testing. Now, testing is an amazing and ever-growing field. And if you don't like programming that much, yes, programming is involved in testing too, but not that much as programming is involved in the production of an application. Now, as long as applications are going to be keep on coming up, as long as the application are going to have updates, new features, they all need testing. Now, testing doesn't mean that you're going to make your application bug free. That is not even a concept in the programming world. If an application is there, it's going to have its bug. But if you're not doing testing, then it's going to be another nightmare when the application reaches in the public hand. There's a lot of type of testing that goes on in. There is a unit testing, there's a production testing, there's a reliability testing, there's a performance testing, and of course, there is penetration testing for security purposes. Now, one of the things which I really like about the testing is there's no shortage about the frameworks. There's Selenium, Appium, some JavaScript based like Mocha, Chai, and there's plethora of uh, tools and frameworks that are available for testing. In addition, on top of that, there are some UI based testing too. And the good thing is that once you pick up the tech stack, just for an example, you pick up that Java and Selenium is going to be my friend, then it's not about you can only test the Java-based application. You can test all of the Node-based application, Python-based, Ruby on Rails, and any other applications as well. Testing is one of such of the great and very in-depth field. And when we move on to penetration testing and security testing, that's a, another open world that we can talk about a lot here. Now, these allows you to have more firm testing about the vulnerabilities that your application potentially may have or may get some of the data leaks. And there's a whole lot to talk about penetration testing as well. But testing doesn't require that much of programming knowledge and it's an ever-growing field that is going to be <laughs> quite up here as long as the applications are going to be up here. Okay, so these are my top five picks for the IT fields or the segments that you can pick up. Now, all of these segments are gigantic and are going to require at least two years or three years to have a friendlier nature in these fields. Now, these fields, when you pick up, you can actually explore more in depth about these fields. And these fields probably are going to be one of the things that you'll be doing forever or at least next five or 10 years in your IT life. Now, all of the thing, these fields are having amazing potential, amazing salaries, amazing roles. But the most important thing is how good you are in that field. It's not about picking up just the one segment or one language in the programming. It's about whole in general that how good you are in programming. Similarly, for testing, it's not about how good you are in Selenium. It's about how good you are in testing. So make sure you never pick up a tool that you love or a language that you love. You pick about what the segment is where I want to go further. Now, of course, after a couple of years, let's just say three, four, or five years, you're going to be 
automatically be master of many other fields as well. Most of the programmers who are having four, five, eight years of experience in programming eventually automatically become half of the DevOps because they have done so much of work in development. If you have your interest in UI and UX within like four or five or eight years, you will be expert in, little bit expert in UI, UX, writing amazing code and putting things into production automatically gets you familiar with the cloud. So again, these are very closely interrelated. But you gotta pick one to get started with. Let me know what you are picking up. Let me know in the comment section which is the one field that you're gonna be picking up for the next couple of years. And I'll try my best to help you in choosing the further things in this journey. Make sure that you hit your subscribe button and of course, make sure you also join me up on Instagram. A lot of fun happens there as well. And I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video. I wonder is it worth living now? They tell me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked up pieces from my childhood in a broken house And heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds And tell myself once again, I'ma work it out So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now Yeah, it's feeling different now